Right, um, someone's written to us and said that IOD tool you keep using is cool, but what can a normal eBay-ish tool do? And I thought, well, that's a good question. We work closely with the guys at IID. We give them some, some feedback, um, but we don't sell their tool. And um, so I thought, yeah, let's let's have a look. So there is actually another tool we've got in the workshop that we have used from time to time. Um, and this is a little... This one is really just a dongle. So there's not really any hard software associated with this. So this is just an ODB2 wi-fi connector and it sets up a wi-fi network that you can connect to on your phone but you need to use this with another app but we'll show you the app we're using is talk and we'll show you what we can do and what we're going to try and do is in our project range of a sport we know there are some faults we're going to read it with the expensive so this one's like 30 40 pounds this one's like 300 400 pounds um but obviously this one comes with all the software that allows you to raise the suspension, lower it, change your gearbox. There's all sorts of stuff you can do with this one. Um, it will only do it on one car, but you can fault read and reset faults and do all that. So we're going to plug the IID tool in, open the app and see what faults we've got on the car. Then we'll put the lower cost one um, and compare. So that at a base level... If you don't want to lower your car or change your gearbox, let's see see how they compare. Um, right, here we go. So put that in. All right. Let's get the keys. Put the ignition on. Where's the, where we got the keys down? Uh, they're in the ignition. They're in the ignition. Look at that. We're all ready. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's not quite on. Oh, there you go. Okay, right. We're on. Right, bear with me. So again, both of these are pretty similar in that we've got to open up an, an app on the phone. You've seen me do it before, but let's just search for a tool. Do, 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 do. Right, and we're going to have a fault code. Fault code. Now, don't we mustn't clear the fault codes because otherwise it won't be good, will it, then? No. <laughs> All right. So should we pick on one particular fault or should we just see, let's just see, see what, what we've up. got. Let's see if it'll give us a, right, so so we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 5, 16. So we've got 16 faults read there. Um, so let's have a look. Traffic on the most bus. I'd be surprised if the cheaper tool, so it's got antenna circuit, general failure circuit, current below threshold on the antenna circuit. So... Um, I'm going to be losing reception. Mm. Um, let's have a look at the TDV6. We think the engine's got the exhaust gas valves, re EGR sensors out. That You'd hope that'll be at a cell phone, might be body control. Let's have a look at body control. Low beam failure. And that was when we were playing with the headlights yesterday, I guess, Dan. Yeah. Dan, one thing we've got to do for our MOT test, which is a UK roadworthiness test, is... Uh, is do the headlights and Dan was swapping headlight bulbs over yesterday. So okay, so that's what we can find in that tool. Let's um, let's swap over to the other tool and open the other app and see what we've got there. Right, okay, so we've got this little again goes in exactly the same place. So rummage under here. There we go. Has that got any lights on it? That one? Uh, no, I don't think no, it does. No, they've cut down the cost. You don't get disco lights. We're enjoying a disco yesterday, <laughs> didn't we? Right then. Dan's loaded the app on his phone, so it's just a an app called Talk. Let me just angle your phone a bit that way. There we go. Cheers, Dan. All right now, Dan's Dan's been playing with this. He's been tracking his route to work. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, but if you go onto faults, tap here to scan for faults. Not connected. Oh, you've got to go on your Wi-Fi settings, haven't you? You've yeah. got to go on your Wi-Fi. So yeah, you've got to go on your settings and get your Wi-Fi. And there they go, and it's come up as V-Link, has it? Yeah. Yep, yeah, go on then. All right, it should connect to it now. Yeah, you've got no internet now, Dan. No, there you go, it's, the car's flashing. The car's flashing, that's what you need, is it? All right, go yeah. on then. So go faults. Tap here to scan for faults. There you go, that's better. It's doing something.
You didn't have any faults on the Peugeot, did you? No. 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 Dan scanned his car, but to his disappointment, he had no faults. No faults codes stored, stored in the ECU. So fault manager is zero fault codes. Now, I didn't clear those with the others. So so uh, initially, it would seem that it's not... Yeah, what's in here? It's not... Let's have a look. Clear faults. There's no faults to clear. Um, so I try load fault log, see what's in there. No There's no faults. So it would seem that the talk is pretty what good. Refresh it. Uh, yeah, refresh, see if it's... Because we've got the ignition on. It looks like we've done a rigged video now in favour yeah. of IRD, but this is honestly a straight-up test. Dan took this home last night and played no with it. Fault. No, no false code. So there we go. So if you've got another tool you'd like us to compare or another bit of software, we'll happily do that, but... Our initial setup does seem to show that the IID tool is is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. All right.